lot of time is used in these games. So to try to have 45 minute matches for each session is just impossible right now. It doesn't look like either player is discouraged by that though. They're both uh, ready to go. Yeah, I, we, we have very serious expressions on our players, but it, obviously they should. This is winner's final. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, we can see Jabberwocky's team. We still, we still have Volkerona do the Quiver Dance last time. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if he's going to use that same lead of Volkerona and Kangaskhan. I've, yeah. I would be surprised, but then again, he knows that Cybertron last time led with both special attackers, with the Gengar and the... Yeah, well these players Venusaur. haven't played each other yet, yes. have they? No, they have not, but... Uh, it'll be uh, it'll be interesting to see from my standpoint yeah. what they're going to do. I guess both of their teams have a few things that y you would learn by playing a game against them. No, definitely they would. Like Quiver Dance Volcarona. I don't know, I, for I forgot Volcarona even had a Quiver Dance and I haven't seen it in so long. Yeah. I'm, in, I'm surprised. I mean, Quiver Dance and Volcarona in singles is a common thing, but to see it in VGC, I was definitely... I did not expect a setup move like that, but that special defense, I guess, is pretty Yeah, Charty niche. Berry Quiver Dance was actually something we saw back in um, 13. Okay. I believe the Apex champion that year, did Ben Rothman have it? I know I he had know. Quiver Dance Volk. I can't remember if it was Charity. I gotcha. Well, like he has every single game, Aaron is taking his time. Gonna be, I'm, I'm sure both players are still deciding, but yeah. I will never, ever expect to see the numbers not go red when Aaron's choosing his team. Which I hadn't noticed him about that, but th that, that is a really interesting trait about the way he plays, is putting in all the time that he had. He does. He doesn't waste a single second, even if, even on his videos on uh, YouTube. He always <laughs> goes to the red. Very rarely have I ever seen him take anything I haven't watched too many of his goes. videos, but I, I've been making sure to catch his streams when they yeah. come up. A lot of intense games. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so here we're going to go live with Winners Finals, Cybertron, and Jabberwocky going in right now. Let's check out these leads as they come through. Toby kissing, Toby Kangaskhan. kissing Kangaskhan. So we have a follow me user. We have a air slash user. I can never tell when Toby kiss is shiny. They just switch the colors. It's not. Is it, that's not a shiny Toga kiss? Yeah, it is was. It? It's, it was shiny. Oh wow! And they just the it really is that covert. Yeah, they're swapped and it's a little bit yellower than yeah, a regular yeah. Toga kiss. Yeah, yeah. So we can see the Aaron leads with the Bishark Terrakion, which we have not seen him do just yet. So definitely an interesting lead on his side. I do feel as though he's at a little bit of a disadvantage. Who is? Uh, Aaron. I don't know. I think with Terrakion being able to go for something like a rock slide here. That is And true. it gets like a lot of damage on Togas. It kind of fishes for the flinch on Kangaskhan. I, I would say it's actually kind of even. Yeah. And it, unless that Kangaskhan has something like low kick, it can't actually deal with Terrakion that effectively. I believe, I believe from prior, prior matches that this, this, Kangaskhan does have low kick. Low kick, yeah. So I guess maybe that's why I'm thinking. I, I believe. I so remember I the last wrong. game, uh, we saw Jabberwocky's Kangaskhan getting low yeah, kick. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Well, either way, this is going to be interesting to see what both players do. Uh, I don't know. I think Aaron was really hoping for that Landers lead to get that defiant boost. From yeah. Intimidate, but he did not get that. But against something like Togekiss, having Bisharp to just get a lot of damage off with a stabbed iron head on, it's a good option to have. Yeah, it's still there. It's definitely still an option. So definitely with that, I, I agree. I think it's pretty even, hence why the clock is running all the way down to 20 seconds right now. Uh, definitely an even, even feel. But if I were Aaron, I would be very careful about my Bisharp getting low kicked or power up punch. Yeah, exactly. Because Aaron doesn't know what up. Fighting move Danny's Kangaskhan is gonna have. So we can see the, the Kangaskhan opts to go for the fake out on the Terrakion. I like that. Not, not gonna have to worry about any flinches. Absolutely. And Terrakion gets the flinch. Bisharp goes for Iron and Iron on the Togekiss. That should be a dead Togekiss. Oh. And it is. Down it goes. Fainted and gone. I'm actually a little bit surprised. Oh, it but life orb. Life I think orb without the life orb, the Togus would have been able to hang on. You Danny know, might not have been expecting that. I don't think. I think that the life orb on the Bisharp is a very Ooh. solid choice because with Kangaskhan's running amok, your, your, your focus test doesn't mean too much from a low kick from a Kangaskhan. There goes the Defiant Boost. Danny willingly brings in the Intimidate user with a Bisharp on the field. Danny's. Landorus might have a little bit of bulk to live something like Life Orb, Bisharp, plus one Sucker Punch. I know that's something some people 
Falcor. And if that is the case, it's free to get off a really strong Earthquake on these Pokemon, knocking both of Aerith's out if he that doesn't true. make any switches. That is very true. I think Cybertron's actually put in a little bit of a tight spot here because an Earthquake will probably KO either of these Pokemon. Terrakion's not the bulkiest Pokemon, and we all know that Fish are has weak knees. Look at those look at those little ankles. They're just gonna get they're gonna just separate when an earthquake. Yeah, the rest happens. of it is cool. It's like a chest piece, but then it's feet. What yeah. are they? It's feet just are non existent. You can see it looks like he's constantly standing on his tippy toes almost. And, and everything else back. on the field has such strong feet. Yeah, it's it, it's it's insane. So we're gonna see I, I I feel as though Cybertron might switch something out. I feel like a protect has to happen one way or another. If the I am I might want to switch to Rakion out. Yeah. And keep that plus one, try to do as much damage as But one maybe of he's confident that his Sucker Punch could take out the Landers and he would just want to stay in and close combat the Gengishon. Which even at minus one, I think, might be able to take the knockout. Mm -hmm. But he does switch it out. I don't I don't mind that. Yeah, I don't blame him at all. The Venusaur is going to come in, which is a great switch in because he knows. Oh, Bishop's going to protect. There's the protect. A very safe play. And superpower. Superpower. On to the Terrakion. Interesting play. He did not want to go for the Earthquake because Kangaskhan does yeah. not have the ability to protect. And that extra damage could add up. Okay. Low King is going to come through as Bisharp protects itself. So it was a very safe turn from Cybertron. We've seen it time and time again. He makes the, uh, the safest and the correct play. Falco is going off in the <laughs> Salty Suite. I don't know if that's PT Chris or... Oh my goodness. I'm not sure how to feel about Danny's position here. He could superpower the Bisharp if he wants. It's really important, like, whether his Landorus can live the Sucker Punch or not. I know it's a damage roll, even yeah. if he's uninvested. Exactly. But so, if it can live it, it could take out the Bisharp, Pangas got a good double edge, it could return into Venusaur. Yeah, we're gonna see, we're gonna see the Mega Venusaur come through. And now we're gonna find out, did Cybertron go for the Sucker Punch? I think if he's staying in, he must He have. had to. But Those who's he targeting? The Kangaskhan. Targeting the Kangaskhan, and that is gonna Bring it in the red. The Bring it in the red, as the superpower is gonna connect and take the Take out the Bisharp. No chance of whiffing that. Now Kangaskhan gets to go for a strong normal move on Venusaur. And that is, that's not gonna be the best position for Cybertron here. There's the double edge. That might actually take the Venusaur out. Um, oh no, never mind. But it, it's definitely gonna take the Kangaskhan out due to recoil. Absolutely. We see that Danny's gonna be stuck with his Landorus that's locked into Super Power In. And that is not a good place to be. No, not at all. A Sludge Bomb's gonna connect with the Landorus. Are we gonna see a poison? We are not. Maybe he was expecting the Kangaskhan to just hang around. I think he probably doubled it there. Yeah, I, I would say play. Aaron, safe Cybertron here. Just proving that safety is not a bad thing. You don't have to The more I look at his games, like the more the ability to make safe plays seems like a big part of like why he's doing why so he's well. Why he's so yeah. consistent in this game. Absolutely admirable. We're gonna see the Volcarona come in as the last Pokemon on Danny's side, and Hawkeye the Heatran comes through, which this is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. With Danny's Landorus probably locked into Super Power, it just, if it got a crit on Heatran, he would be back in the game. Absolutely, but without that crit... Actually, no, that you would still need to crit the Drachion in the yep. back. It's just this Volcarona. It's all going to depend. I believe Cybertron's most likely going to focus on this Volcarona and get it out of here as soon as possible. Yeah. We're going to see the superpower not too much. Oh, but I don't know. It, it's a bit. It doesn't really matter, though. That... Lando is probably, oh, Volcarona going for a Quiver Dance. We're going to see the Quiver Dance. I would, I'm, I'm expecting to see an overheat here from the from the heat trend. Overheat. I'm not, uh, oh, what's up? Safe. Oh, oh, so I like it. All right. Once again, the safe play. As a, oh, we finally see the lead seed on yeah. the Venusaur. Yeah. I'm not really surprised by it. Not overheat, heat wave. It's yeah. late. I'm tired. There's noise. Oh, no, people definitely use overheat. It's, yeah. a, it's not a bad move. Yeah. I know that a Judy Azarelli, the world's runner up, used it at, at a premiere challenge okay. recently. I believe he said it KOs Aegis Slash or something. Wow. Obviously, a big Pokemon to be able to take out. Yeah, of course. And stuff like a Moon Guest, too, so yeah. I can't spore you. Absolutely. All right. Now I don't feel so bad about it being late, and I'm tired. But uh, since it's sub, we can probably expect a heat wave on this particular set. Absolutely, absolutely. I think Cybertron mentioned to me that he was running heat wave, so it makes perfect sense. Uh, with that, with it behind the sub, I think that this is pretty much 
Oh, Bug Buzz Bug is going to go through the sub. Is he gonna, I was going to say, you're targeting the Heatran. It's not working. Oh, well, you have to remember, since Bug Buzz is a sound-based move, it can penetrate subs. Yeah, that's, that, but it, I don't know how much it's going to do to a Heatran. I think this is going to be able to break the sub here. Yes. We're going to see the sub fade, which is huge. With Landers' defense becoming pitiful, though, at minus three, minus three right now. Wave, although it hits the but that's side, only its matter. physical defense. Correct. It doesn't matter due to the heat wave. Being it all depends. It all depends on what Aaron has in the back right here. It's a Terrakion. Oh, it is Terrakion. Yeah. Oh, so we're fine. Probably. Um, this this is close. This is a good game. I don't think that Volcarona can really do anything to Heatran, even if it does feel like bug busting it. Yeah. Because it's double not very effective. Exactly. I think it's all going to come down to. And it's probably not like the Volcarona can do too much to the Trachyon yeah, either. Exactly. No, maybe a little bit more. It's not double resisted. We're going to see the Bug, Bug Buzz, Buzz on the Trachyon. Trachyon. And it's Ooh. not going to take it out. Maybe a double up on Trachyon? Yes, it's only yes. a chance. And take At it. minus three, it's going to oh, take wow. the Trachyon out. It's a crit! Go to a crit! Ooh. It's a crit! If we see a Heat Wave miss on the Landers here, some big things might be happening. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Volcarona avoids it. I'm not sure if that matters too much. Unless this is a hidden power ground Volcarona. Which I don't think we've seen Quiver Dance. We've seen, we've seen a most of We've Volcarona seen Quiver Street. Dance, Heat Wave. You would need not to be using Protect to have hidden power yep. ground. And it's gonna come down to the wire on this one. Honestly, that crit could have mattered. That minus three attack from a non-stab Landris. I, I, I don't think Volcarona could beat Heatran at this point. Yeah, I don't think so. Heat Wave is going to connect on the Volcarona. Even with its plus one special offense, it's still taking a pretty decent amount from it. Yep. Heat Friend is getting back some hit points with its leftovers. And it looks... It can even protect if it wanted to. Yep. I would. I don't think Aaron would want to protect, though, because if Volcarona decides to set up a bunch of Quiver Dances and eat Heat Waves, I don't think it would... I don't think it matters too much. I guess either player is going to mess around with that kind of stuff. Yeah. Earth, We're gonna power, see Earth power, save, not gonna work. I don't know. Can not, that KO? Not gonna miss, it's not gonna yeah. KO. But he, he knows that two of them can KO. Yes. That must have been why he went for He didn't it. want to risk a, uh, the he, uh, missing, the first move missing. So. Because if he did get a miss, he would have to protect. Absolutely. Another that would be a possibility. No crit, it looks like Aaron's game. There it goes, yeah. no crit. We are gonna see the special defense drop and now. It somehow lives the heat power, Earth, Earth power. power. <laughs> But Volcarona is going to fall, going and down. Cybertron is going to move on to Grand, Grand Finals, Finals wow. of Apex 2015. Just like in 2013, he is making it out through the winner's side of the bracket. Absolutely, and uh, that's just a testament to his safe plays that he makes and his devo devotion to the game and the community, which is absolutely commendable. All right, awesome. So we're going to get the next match, which I believe... I don't know if we're jumping right to grand finals on stream or. If oh we're gonna, no, we we're gonna have. Oh semi. no, we, we still need to go through losers. Oh yeah, we still have a few more Absolutely. games. Absolutely. All right, so we're gonna see the bracket right now coming up. Oh, on stream. Oh, Omega Donut took out Dragon Matt as soon as he dropped wow. it. Too bad. But that means I, Omega I believe Donut. we're still. Sorry, guys. I yeah. believe we're still waiting for Jive Time versus Ezreal. I'll confirm that for you guys in just a moment. Awesome. So while Jive Time and Ezreal finish up, we can see, as you said, Dragon Matt, who was on stream, who got dropped by uh, Cybertron. Lost to lost to Omega Donut in the very next round, which means uh, who do you think is going to come through, Jive Time or Ezreal? Oh, I might have to say Jive Time. I I think he's been more consistent as a player. He's gotten close to getting to World so many times. Ezreal won, guys. Ezreal oh, Ezreal won. won. Wow. So, someone someone has to buy me a Red Bull. <laughs> I was gonna say Ez I wasn't gonna and say Ezreal, but that's awesome to see that Ezreal. Did yeah, I'm glad for him. I, I personally know Ezreal even better. Wow. I know he's using an interesting team that we saw him use against Aaron. That's awesome. So we're gonna see Ezreal and Omega Donut on the stream right now. We're gonna be watching it from. Is that Omega Donut? Uh, that is Ezreal. That's Ezreal. So there. we're going to be watching from Ezreal's point of view. I don't believe I've seen either player on stream. It's possible that Ezreal was on stream already. Ezreal, we saw him play against Aaron yes. in my first game. Absolutely. Up here. Okay, so we're going to see Ezreal again. But Omega Donut is a completely new player to the stream. I hear Omega Donut is using a very interesting team today based on something he used in the past. What has he got going on? Um, we see Polytoad? Where is it? Oh, a Polytoad, a Thunderous Incarnate. Mega Metagross. 
Scrafty, Amoongus, and Ludicolo. Mega Metagross. This was, I was literally building one, two, three, four, five. I had wow. five of the same Pokemon that I was building in Team Which today. Which one were you missing? I was missing, I actually wasn't running Thunderous just because of my own resistance to such a good Pokemon. Well, what were you using in its place? Uh, when I was building the team, I think I was actually looking at Meowstic, which didn't synergize well with the rain, but yeah. Meowstic is such a fun Pokemon. I think in that slot you want to have speed control. I assume you have Thunder Wave on yes, it? Yes. Yeah. So. A Zapdos is another thing you could put yes, there. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So it's going to be interesting to see another weather team come through.